Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. I hope you're all doing great and I uh, hope you had a great week so far. And welcome to your daily update on Solana. Um, we're covering it again. I had to because all of a sudden you see that Solana reacted very, very bullishly to the 28 EMA. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a good word, bullishly, but all right, it doesn't matter. Uh, reacted very strongly to the uh, 28 EMA. And what we're seeing right now, which is obviously very interesting, is that Bitcoin is showing a lot of bullish momentum here. Um, so yeah, there is potential for Solana. I mean, yesterday we talked about this and I'll, I'll quickly take you through the through what I said yesterday uh, in that. Why is it expired? I mean, come on now. Uh, you can only see my email. That doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so yesterday what we talked about is that the open interest had peaked out at the same levels it had peaked out uh, before when Solana did not break above this consolidation. Uh, because Solana, and most of you know this, but I'll, I'll repeat it, Solana right now is consolidating between 62.5.4 and then $50 as a support, even though it has never touched that still. Uh, it's consolidating there on the short term. In the long term, it is still bullish. And you can also see that, like the EMAs right here, um, they were relatively flat in the last two weeks, but uh, recently they've actually started moving up again. So Solana right now has the best chance to break out, all right? Because you can also see what I what I try to hide a bit is that the open interest um, after af after peaking yesterday uh, yesterday afternoon it has actually continued to go up since the start of this Friday. Uh, so Solana is building up a ton of momentum here, and that leads me to believe that there's actually a possibility that will break above 62.4. All right, and, and we've talked about that before. If Solana is able to break above 62.4, that's a major breakout. We are breaking out of the consolidation then. And then it's most likely that Solana will go up to 67, 70, and potentially 75 later. All right, so um, that's a possibility. I find it hard to say how likely that is, all right, because in the end, it is a Friday. It is the start of a new month or the end of or, or the end or, or the last week of the of the previous month. Those days are volatile. All right. And a lot of things can actually happen then. So I find it hard to I would actually say that this is a possibility, but wait for that confirmation. All right. So if Solana breaks above 62.4 on the four hour time frame, we got that breakout. And then it's it's pretty certain that we'll get up to 67 and 70 dollars. All right. Um, so that is true, but for now, I would actually uh, I would actually wait it out because there's still a possibility that Bitcoin, for example, drops down below its main support level right now at thirty eight thousand four hundred and starts crashing. That <laughs> there is a chance because it's uh, because of the nature of this day. So uh, I'm I'm a little bit too scared of that to to long Solana right now. Uh, Solana and Bitcoin are super correlated. So if Bitcoin falls, Solana will fall as well. And I have to, I have to still say, like I said yesterday, um, I think the chances have increased significantly that Solana will break above 62.4 and rally up higher. Um, but the fact that the current market structure is actually neutral, 62.4 is still a stronger resistance, and that there's a chance that Bitcoin will crash, leads me to believe that I still think it's most likely that Solana will find resistance and drop back down towards this level between 54 and $50. Um, my intuition, uh, yeah, I mean, I, my, my intuition is, is kind of uh, between these two scenarios because both are, are possible, all right? Both of these scenarios are possible. Uh, you can say something in favor of both analysis as well. Um, but like I said, I mean, we'll just have to see this first. You have to see it first and then you can believe it. Until we've seen it, I still think it's most likely the market structure will hold up. So those are my thoughts. That's my analysis on Solana for today. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments uh, and down in the pinned comments and the description. You'll also find links to my own premium and signal group. If you want to become a better trader, check that out. But for now, thank you for watching. Uh, take care and uh, have a great weekend in advance. Bye.